rejected in. We had three audits that we endured because of the misspent funds and an FBI investigation that really strapped our, our resources for all the, the um, documents that we had to turn over to the Bureau. But we set to work. Uh, one of the things that came out of the audit was there was $400,000 in misspent federal funds. We put a team around that and we were able to account for $300,000 of actual allowable expenses that we were able to offset it with. So it only cost the taxpayers $100,000 instead of $400,000. You may recall it took them three days to count the votes in 2008. I immediately said there were some problems with the equipment. Um, I put a, a team around that. We put a review team around it. And we discovered there was operator errors and there was equipment errors. As a result of the equipment errors, we were able to negotiate a half a million dollar credit back from Premier to the taxpayers of Hillsborough County. I can tell you that we've returned leadership and accountability to that office. We now report results in a timely and accurate manner. This primary election, 8.30, 90 minutes after the polls closed, we were done. The reports are already in. We've also turned that office into a model of ethics and professionalism. We offer excellent customer service. We torn down the barriers that used to exist when you walked into the downtown office. And we've been great stewards of your taxpayer money. And I would remind you that I'm the only candidate that has actually conducted an election. My campaign's been endorsed by the Police Benevolent Association of Tampa, West Central Florida Police Benevolent Association, both the city and the county firemen, the Fraternal Order of Police District Laws, the Fraternal Order of Police State Laws. And I'm very proud that today and this morning's Tampa Tribune, our hometown newspaper, I was endorsed by the Tampa Tribune. My name is Craig Lyman. Thank you very much.